took a little bit. Hello, Facebook world. Hello, Instagram. I'm Jessica Weaver, and I'm so, so excited because we have an, a big announcement for Confessions of a Money Queen, which is pre-launching next month where you can buy for 99 cents. But what I, so last year I wrote the book. I wrote it in the fall. It came out of me in one week. And it was 100% it was God's message just pouring out of me into this book. So it's a spiritual side of money, which I'm very passionate about. I feel like a mad money scientist, always looking for new ways to approach money, old ways, historic ways, ancient, ancient ways. And we're working them in today's time. And so I wrote the book. I took to heart the principles. I really let it all out. So when I talk about confessions, I am unleashing everything about me and money along with women that I've worked with, their money baggage, how we overcome them, how do we get to this place where we're having, we're living by purpose, we're profiting from purpose, and it's giving us just a sense of peace in our life. To the point where I'm no longer stressing over money, I'm no longer stressing over how we're gonna grow the business, I'm just doing what feels right, and it's growing faster. I'm spending less on my business and earning more of it. I'm working less time in my business and earning and growing it more and more. It's just this amazing thing happening. And I go, oh my gosh, this, the book isn't done. <laughs> so what we decided to do is pair up each chapter because each chapter is a money move, your money power move with a course. So it's a 10 week program that you get to buy the day the book comes out. So we're pre-launching the book and pre-launching this program. I starting to work on the program right now. Basically just diving into what's worked for me. And I've been doubling my income the last few months. So it's working and I'm telling you, I'm taking Fridays off. So I'm doubling my income every month and working less hours. I'm not working less hard. I'm working just as hard as I was before, but less hours. Because I'm not chasing people. I'm just receiving. And I think the best example is the other last month, my whole family got the stomach bug. So that was a week where I wasn't really working. My son got a procedure done. He's fine. He's healthy. And then I had to get my COVID shot. My son got a sh bunch of shots, just as regular routine shots. And it was about two and a half a week, so I really couldn't work. And it became my most productive month ever. I got a waiting list for people to work with me. I'm able to now have my other women advisors work with the the people because of how much we are growing even though I, I wasn't even able to work much I was able to take that time to be with my family so I'm sure you've come into the points of your life when you're like I need to be at work but you're being drawn home embrace that knowing and this is exactly what the course is about knowing there's plenty to receive there's plenty coming God's got our back okay so we are going to pre-launch the book and the course together it's going to be amazing. I'm so excited for this and I'll keep diving into more and more of it, but it really comes down to this whole eight weeks. You know, the process started way before that, but these eight weeks where I'm just receiving so many miracles. Yesterday, I got two media, I got six prospects. Um, another person joined for our Money Empire Day on Friday. We still have a few tickets left if you're interested. Just go to jessicaweaver.com slash money dash empire. But also, oh, I got two, two new clients. I got, you know, book discovery. It was insane the day of receiving. So it, it works. I'm here to tell you that it works. So let's say our prayer and get rolling with the day. Get rolling with the day and receive some miracles. All right. Divine Beloved, allow me to give with complete ease and abundance, knowing you are the unlimited source of all. Let me be an easy open conduit for your prosperity. Let me trust all my own needs are always met in amazing ways and that it's safe to give freely as my heart guides. And equally, let me feel wildly open to receiving. May I know my own value, beauty, and worthiness without question. Let me allow others the supreme pleasure of giving to me. May I feel worthy to receive in every possible way. Change me into one who can fully love, forgive, and accept to myself so that I may carry your light without restriction. Let everything that needs to go, go. Let everything that needs to come, come. I am utterly your own. You are me, I am you, we are one, all is well. 
And the one that hit me today was, may I feel worthy to receive in every possible way. So many times we don't feel worthy and we are putting such conditional love on ourselves and on others. And it kind of breaks my heart when I think about that. Right? I'm only gonna love myself if I look a certain way. I'm only gonna love myself or feel confident if I have all the makeup and my hair done and my lips on. I only will feel confident about my money if I have a million bucks in the bank account. And it's putting such conditions on ourselves. And when we put conditions on ourselves, it's a money block. We're blocking ourselves. We can't receive. And it's wasted energy. It's not allowing us to surrender and welcome help. And when I refer to surrendering, I don't mean giving up. I mean, it's kind of like passing the torch. It's like, okay, you know, I'm sick of trying to figure this out by myself. I'm not getting anywhere. Let me bring somebody in who is an expert. Let me bring God in. Let me bring a financial expert in. Let me bring, I don't know, a business coach in, a health coach. And allowing other people to take on your burden with you so you're not carrying it by yourself anymore. And you can release that. And when you do that, when you finally make that decision, you feel hopeful. It's, the stress comes from not making the decision. The stress comes from con only conditionally loving yourself and putting such a high expectation on you, and that leads to adding pressure and pressure, more pressure, and when we add so much pressure, we're in this pressure cooker, do we, do we love ourselves? Are we gonna get to that result? We are not, we're not. So I was just recording for letting go of ego, and this all comes into play with letting go of ego, releasing our egos, because they do not serve us anymore. Our egos, are they teach us to fight, to go, right, go crazy and like, ah, standing up, I'm gonna stand up for myself, I'm gonna show them who's boss. Or flight, and we isolate ourselves and we hide. Neither one of those suit us, especially in this world. And it's such a, it's such a, I don't say masculine in a bad way, but it's that heavy energy that doesn't work for us. That energy, oh, I gotta fight or I gotta hide. Oh, it's, too heavy for us. It's not going to work. It's not. So I encourage you continue with this work, doing that daily money practice like I've been doing. And like I said, we are pre-launching Confessions of a Money Queen with the Money Queen course together. So that not only you get the book, but you get to live and breathe it. You get the meditations, the journaling prompts. You get everything you need to keep going through it and doing the work and getting to the place where you have more money than you know what to do with. More money to give back, more money to spoil you, to spoil your loved ones and get to a place to fully love, forgive and accept yourself. All right, God bless.